the floor. I'm doing it. Right now, the indigenous people of Biafra, a bully led by Nandekano, is telling the world that the man in Asoro is an impostor from Sudan. It's not Muhammad Buhari. So this is the issue we are going to look at right now. Of course, I'm here with Mr. Kalabu. Kalabu, you're welcome to the Thank program. Thank you very much for Yes, uh, yes, Mr. Kalabu, you're welcome. So looking at the evidence available provided by the indigenous people of Biafra, yeah. um, the indigenous people of Biafra is telling the world that the man in Asarok is an impostor from Sudan. What is your take on that? Well, uh, my take is this. The fraud called Nigeria is uh, reaching to its climax to show the world the level of impersonation and fraud that has been meted upon more than 100 million uh, uh, population of indigenous people, including the people of Biafra. Yeah. Now, the issue at hand is this. There is what is called a political decoy. That is, a person appointed to impersonate someone in a political position. That is what is obtainable right now in Nigeria because the person that is in a saw rock now is an imposter. From the evidence and the records available to the public, we can rightly sum it up and come up with a fact of result that will shock the whole world let me start from the year 2010 yeah. there was a period the former president of nigeria omaru musa yaradua when he was terminally ill the cabals the fulani caliphates they decided to conceal it because they want to maintain power based on the instructions given to them by the british who the british because the british is stirring the affairs of Nigeria in proxy. So in 2010, when Omar Musayara Dua died, this is the time that they wanted to use an impostor to continue to perpetrate evil on the masses of Nigeria. So at that point in time, Omar Musayara Dua died. They wanted to replace him with an impostor. But the one of our mothers, the late daughter uh, uh, Akunyuli, she exposed the plan. And that was how good luck Ebere Jonathan became the acting president. So, from that 2010, these people, they have been planning, putting things in order, in, in expectation that such eventuality may occur again. So now, in 2015, when uh, the late Muhammad Buhari assumed power, he became ill and terminally ill. And the sickness that he was suffering from was not disclosed to the public. It was not even disclosed to some relatives or some members of his uh, political family and also his uh, family direct family because there was, there was a, a record whereby the wife Aisha Buhari was refused to see her, to husband. See her husband in London. Even the vice president himself Otsibanjo was also restricted at some point yeah. from seeing the, 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 the terminally ill president. And from record it is adduced that he was suffering from cancer so from all these things we have evidence that before the 27th of january 2017 when muhammad buhari suddenly fell sick at the presidential villa and he was taken on the nigerian presidential jet mm. heading to london and from record that presidential jet made a stop, a stopover yeah. at in Casablanca, Morocco, whereby the late president was put on a life support and was taken to uh, to the United Kingdom mm -hmm. on a life support mission. Yeah. So for some some weeks, 
he died because they couldn't resuscitate him from coma. He died. So, at the course of that period, the Nigerian presidential jet was packed at the airport in United Kingdom whereby taxpayers' money was used to pay for the daily charges. Then when this man died, that same presidential jet left Britain and went to Saudi Arabia. If the Nigerian government or the people handling Asorok at this moment believe that what the indigenous people of Biafra is saying from this evidence is false, let them publish the presidential log of that period under, uh, under discussion. Yeah. That is number one. Then secondly, from evidence, we have never seen an old man that instead of growing old, he is now growing younger. It, is never, it has never been seen before. From evidence, if you watch the videos of, more of the late Muhammad Buhari, you will see that one of his ears, earlobe, have a cut. But the present imposter in a saw rock now does not have the same. Mm. And also, from record, in 2015, Muhammad Buhari was taller than Saraki. Saraki. But in 2018, you see that Muhammad Buhari is now shorter than Saraki. You also see that the fingerprint of Muhammad Buhari after voting in 2015, when you see it, forensically, you go and check his hand, the hand of the imposter now, when he raised it, you see that the, 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 the remarks mm. are not the same thing. There are a lot of evidence that is available for the world to see. Okay, the issue now, the Nigerian government, aided by the British, they are trying to change the narrative by saying that the man in Asorok is cloned. Whereas the indigenous people of Biafra has never given any evidence talking about cloning. What the indigenous people of Biafra is talking about is saying is that there is a double, someone, a lookalike. Yeah who was taken to Britain for a face surgery to look like Muhammad Buhari. Right, Muhammad Buhari. Yes. In case if there is any, any part of the body that doesn't correspond with the, the late uh, president. Hmm. So, he undergoes a plastic surgery to conform to the reality of Muhammad Buhari. So, all these things are evidence whereby if the Nigerian government say that what we are saying is not the truth, they should prove it with forensic evidence yes. and also with a DNA test. We cannot say that it is, if this, what we are saying is not an impossibility. Yes. It has happened before. I will give you a history of uh, the former fascist leader Joseph Stalin in 1922. Joseph Stalin, he had a double, a double called Felix Adayev, who was used to, to represent Stalin because of his health. The, the difference here is that at the time of Stalin, Stalin was still alive yes, but because of health challenges yes. and a, a double was used mm. after using a makeup. So, in this uh, issue concerning the late Muhammad Buhari, Muhammad Buhari is dead and buried. And the person that is in a rock now was employed to impersonate him and we have found out that they have a specialist on makeup 
So, every event that he must appear, he will be tutored and be given Buhari's mannerism as regards to that particular event. That is the reason why you see at every point in time, the video you see on him will not be long to just be a short video in order to cover certain things. Okay, um, right now, another question here is um, why Muhammad Buhari did not meet with the, uh, with the world leaders in France? So this is another issue, even in Poland. What was the issue there? The issue is that there is lies. Why are they lying? If really the person in a rock is Muhammad Buhari, they shouldn't be lying. He did not attend the the World War Amistad uh, event. But they, in yes, France. in France. Mm. But they lied that he went. Why are they lying? If there is not if there is nothing hidden under the cupboard. The same thing happened in Poland. Okay, now Mr. Kalagu, so um, looking at this now, um, people are asking questions, public are asking questions, why Osi Banjo did not take over the vice president of Nigeria? Because according to the constitution of Nigeria, when a president died, then the vice will take over. Why should Osi Banjo who allow a Buarez double to run the affairs of Nigeria? The, the reasons are many. Mm -hmm. Let me just point out a few of the reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, Osibanjo was not aware from the beginning yeah. until when the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra exposed this fraud of bringing an imposter to stay the affairs of millions of populations of Nigeria. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, Osibanjo is under corruption charges. That is, uh, that is evidence that Osibanjo siphoned uh, more than five billion in Nema. When in Nema, mm. the investigation is still ongoing. Yeah. So he is under blackmail by the cabals. Mm. So and the, the thirdly, there is this Etinubu connection. You know, he followed Nigerian constitution when president died. Osibanjo will become the president, mm. whereas. His master, his godfather, uh, Jagabam Tinubu, mm. has been promised to be the president of the zoo Nigeria in 2023 by the, by the Sokoto Caliphate. So these are the reasons why Osibanjo is just a figurehead being used by the cabals to dish out lies. So I don't know why Africans are finding it so difficult to assimilate this particular the jubilee issue right now. You know, some weak-minded people are asking questions. Can a masking of jubilee give us Biafra? What do you, what do you say? Here? Yes, a masking of, of jubilee mm. will give us Biafra perfectly and very, very quicker than we must have expected. Yeah. Why? It is because it is to tell the whole world what the indigenous people of Biafra have been facing. Yeah. Fraud, impersonation, lies, deceit. So, as you can see today, the international community is talking about this same issue. Yeah. Since the Nigerian people are gullible, since the Nigerian people cannot assimilate a simple evidence that is so glaring. so glaring if somebody said that you are an imposter you don't need to go out and say no i am not an imposter yeah. what you should do is to submit yourself for a dna test simple as simple as that mm. going out to tell the world it is real meal i am not a clone no. it is to tell you that you there is something fishy yeah underneath what you are saying yeah so now how does this thing give us biafra the international media world is now analyzing the situation very soon you see biologists educationists coming out to analyze and the, that imposter must be arrested and submitted for a dna test sure. so as soon as this thing is done mm. the world will know that the indigenous people of Biafra 
are a people who abhors lies, fraud, and all this deceit that we are witnessing today. So, because of the exposition of this fraud in a sore rock, it will skyrocket our agitation for freedom because nobody will like to be in a country where a foreigner will be staring the face of the people as an impostor. Thank you very much for your comment. So right now, this is the truth of the matter. Of course, we are ending the program right now because um, we have made it clear to the general public that the man in Asarog is an impostor and the, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazenland, the Kano, and the, the entirety of IPOB, we are saying that the man in Asorok is an impostor. Let him submit himself for a DNA test, if he thinks that he is not. So this is what we are saying right now.